Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I am a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, we've recently done a dive through Slipknot's catalog and a little bit of solo stuff from Corey Taylor, and I've completely fallen head over heels in love with both Corey and honestly the band as a whole. I know there have been some founding members that have passed, and I am, you know, continue going to continue to honor their legacy and, you know, what they created in this band and listen to their music and fully appreciate them because quite literally, they're just that damn good. They're so catchy. Uh, their songwriting is so good. And I feel like a lot of people misunderstand them because they think that they're intimidating and scary because of the masks. But honestly, I just feel like that's their alter ego. And it adds to the fun. It adds to the theatrics because all of that aside, their music is just so powerful and everything about them is just so damn intriguing. And I cannot wait to explore them further with you guys. But before I get started on this video, if you do enjoy what you see here, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another one, my, one of my reactions ever again. With that being said, let's dive into Slipknot Cycle Social. I, I really love um, Corey's voice so much here. I, I feel like I've seen uh, two different versions of him. He is so incredibly uh, emotional and, and vulnerable uh, when I heard him singing Snuff. And when I heard Duality and uh, The Devil and I, and now this in Psychosocial, I, I, I love how he, you know, just becomes this, you know, alter ego when he's in Slipknot. Um, of course, he was very, very vulnerable in Snuff. And I know that song has... A very emotional meaning because you know he was pushed by paul to sing that and he had already passed so it was really hard for him to sing that song um but every time i see him when he's in his mask i, I just it's, it's like he's embodying this alter ego and he just you know emulates this confident and and strong and super powerful person which i know he is deep down inside but i believe he's a little bit introverted so it's really really nice to see how um, the mask is kind of essential for him to channel this this alter ego of this persona um, But it's so damn great. The drums in this are incredibly catchy It's just like I feel like I just want this to be my theme music, you know, like whenever I'm walking down the street I just want this to, to be playing. This is my theme song. I Love this so much. It makes me want to jump up and down and I'm already feeling like my face is starting to hurt from smiling But this is so fucking good. I'm I, I, I'm, I'm so thankful for you guys for recommending me this, but I'm going to shut up because I know I'm going to talk forever. I really, really want to hear the rest of the song, so let's continue.
go back. I, I just make a note. Uh, I've listened to only, um, I believe this is my third Slipknot song that I've heard on the channel with you guys. And I, I, I'm already, I'm already so damn happy. Um, this is my fourth, actually. Uh, I, I, I did one more. I forgot. Um, but I think out of all the ones I've listened to so far, this has got to be my favorite breakdown. Um, that was just so fucking good. Uh, also, if they're taking volunteers, I would definitely gladly sacrifice myself to be in that summoning circle. That was so damn amazing. Uh, I'm loving just the drums in this are just so incredibly good. Um, they're so catchy. It, it, you're, you're so, it's like easily stimulating for your brain. Um, you're able to follow along. That's what I've uh, noticed a lot about their songs is they aren't too crazy. Um, even though they do look intimidating when you see them. They honestly stick to a nice little formula that keeps your brain intrigued and it makes it to where you already remember the chorus. Like I have the chorus for duality in my head. I sing it in my head almost every single day because their music, it just catches you like that. On the first listen, you're already just so, so in, involved into the music and you can most likely already remember the chorus. I'm already, I'm already remembering it in my head now and I want to sing it over and over, but they just have such a great style of writing songs. It's just... It just makes you want to jump up and punch something and, and, and rage and, and throw yourself on, you know, a stage and jump into a, a pit. It's just, it's the best thing ever. And I, I guess that's my favorite thing about them is that they're just so catchy. They're just so damn catchy and I love them. But um, I want to go back just a little bit because I want to hear a little bit more of that breakdown. That was really, really good. So let's continue. <laughs> question very very seriously holy shit that was so good what i really really dig about them is i i love drums a lot i know uh there has been uh a, a lot of changes within the band and you know I, i'm still like learning to you know get the timeline correctly I, I know we've had two members pass on joey and paul again rest in peace to them and you know my heart goes out to their families in the band that must have been an incredibly hard thing for them to go through um, but of course, we're going to continue to appreciate them and their legacy is going to live on because, you know, they made incredible things in this group. And I cannot wait to hear more of uh, some older stuff as well. I know we've been kind of all over the place with the types of songs that I'm hearing from them. Um, but please let me know some more Slipknot songs that you would like me to hear because I, I, I fully just want to appreciate them, you know, throughout the timeline that they've, you know, been together and, and see how they've progressed and how they've evolved. But that was so damn good. I, I really love how catchy it was. And I love how they take percussion so, so seriously because uh, what I've noticed, I think they have two separate um, percussionists. They have the drummer and then they have someone, uh, like what I saw in The Devil and I, someone was like banging on beer barrels. I've seen beer barrels here and it seems like they have some sort of other uh, thing. They just like to bang on things. It's basically their brand. They like to bang on things. And I love how that's very prominent in all of their music. Um, cause usually drums is kind of like an afterthought and you like pick up on it. And it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. But here it's like, it's almost like it's the center of attention. Um, which is so great. I loved how, uh, chuggy those guitar riffs felt. It felt like we were on this metal train. It just felt so damn like pleasing. It just felt so satisfying for me to listen to. Um, and of course, Corey, Corey is just so good at what he does. I, I love how he can get into his grittier bits and then it's cleaner and he can transition so flawlessly. 
Um, and when I did see it live in The Devil and I, 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 I knew that, you know, it's not just a studio thing. Like he's able to, you know, also do this as well in a live setting, uh, which is so impressive. But I, I want to hear more. I want to hear more, whether it's, you know, official videos or, or live. I just want to appreciate them because uh, the lives seem a little bit cool because they add a little bit more theatrics on stage. And it's kind of cool to see them more in their element in a more raw form. Um, but let me know what you would like, like me to hear next. Uh, I really, really enjoy Slipknot. Huge thank you to maggot army for being so incredibly welcoming and giving me a million million kind messages in the comments and so many beautiful suggestions i'm going to get to them as soon as possible i promise you guys but other than that if you you know want me to hear anything else please let me know let me know what you thought if this is your first time let me know what you thought in the comments below uh but other than that if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another video ever again I am also streaming on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I also do live reactions every Saturday on Twitch. We do Metal Saturdays where we just live react and hang out together as a community. But other than that, I'll be back tomorrow. We have videos every single day here on this channel. But until next time, remember, I love you so much. Take care of yourself. And until next time, bye!